I did everything on this canvas and left ABs to the end. Why? Just because I could. <laughs> These are the last four guys. And then my Chuck Pinson is complete. I will be doing a post review right after this, but there is the last drill. It is done, you guys. It is absolutely beautiful. Let me give you just a little sneak peek. Why not? Little a look while I'm here. Sparklers. Sparklers. See them? Sparklers up there. Sparklers down here. Making the lights. I put some sparklers over here, too. All right. I'll talk more about that later when I do the full review. But I just thought I'd share the last four drills in that confetti heavy barn <laughs> all right stay tuned for the post review hey everybody it is mindy and i am here to show you this absolutely gorgeous painting it's done here's my painting i did for the chuck along the bluebirds song all right it's absolutely beautiful and it was just so much fun to work on. It was so much fun. Sorry, you're seeing my cords over here. Um, but yeah, I don't have you on the tripod right now because I really want to get you down into this painting. But I wanted you to just see it, first of all, in its entirety from a distance. It's gorgeous. It was so much fun to do. I did some customizing on this one. It's one of the first ones I did this much, and I'm going to talk to you about it. Um, my one issue at first when I was working on it was this little guy right here, this little bunny. If you get too close to that little bunny, he, it was weird. I couldn't tell what he was. <laughs> um, he looked kind of strange. But from a distance, he looked great. Like the pitchfork up here looks kind of weird close up, but from a distance it looks good. This is a hoe, I believe, right here. And it looks okay when you back up. Up close, it's a little funky. The horse turned out good. I like the horse. The horse looks good. All right, so let's get you in close and I'll show you some of the things I did. This came with three ABs, all right? So down in here, the ABs that it came with were this yellow and it came with blue. So what I did was I also switched out green, see the greens, and purple. The purple kind of blends in with the blues a little bit. So some of these are blue, some are purple, but I really wanted my flowers to pop. So yeah, there's four ABs in the flowers. Yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right, they look really good. I like them, all right? Another little thing I did Okay, the bluebird, oh my goodness. This bluebird right here, he came with these blue ABs and he's gorgeous, right? His friend over here though didn't have any ABs. So I switched out some ABs and put those where I thought the wings would be, like his partner there. That was a good choice, I liked that. All right, where else did I do some? The green here in the bush by the house I added. It came with blue ABs in the window. Now I added in here, I added sunshine sparklers from Tina, um, Diamond Painting with Sparklers. I added the gold sunshine sparklers every place I thought that light was coming through. And then I added some ABs in my house. See the extra little sparkle ones? Just to give my house a little extra shine too. Um, I just sprinkled them there. I didn't replace the whole color, I just sprinkled a few. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I added some green ABs up here in the tree. See the little green ABs popping out in the tree? It just adds something, you know? Look at that, I don't know. It's not even a sunny day here. This is just kind of a overcast day, but look at how pretty those are. <laughs> I love them, all right? So I uh, customized that. Um, I did some up in here in the sky. Okay, up in the sky in that blue, just to 
Lick it. Make it do that, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, the roof had ABs in it. It had the yellow ABs. And there are yellow ABs all through this barn. This barn, <laughs> this was the confetti. Confetti, confetti, confetti. The barn. And then um, the flowers, of course, down here at the bottom. I added sunshine sparklers. There's a light, right? Any place that there was light, I added sunshine sparklers here and then the one up there. Okay. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Um, this is corn. I debated for a minute if it was wheat or corn, but it's corn because nobody grows wheat in their own backyard garden. So it's corn, right? It's corn. And I added a couple of sunshine sparklers in there because if you've ever seen corn in the fall and you're out in the sunlight, it really, it picks up the sun and it just sparkles at you. And so I wanted just a couple of extra sparkles in here. There was the yellow AB in here. Let's see if we can find, see here's the yellow AB, but then I added um, some sunshine sparklers. And again, just dotted them throughout. Okay, you don't need a ton, just a few. Then we come down here, we added some of the green ABs into the, I don't know, lettuce. I think it's lettuce. I don't know, some sort of a lettuce. And there's the bunny. But it was so fun to just add things to this and customize it and make it extra sparkly. Now look at the horse. See, the horse actually turns out pretty good when you get a little distance, it turns out pretty good. But isn't it gorgeous? It was so much fun to do. I loved it. Uh, lots of confetti, but you just take your time and you just plug away. That's a butterfly. I'm not excited with the butterfly and how that turned out, but I think the butterfly could have been better. But it is what it is. The pail turned out nicely. Look at the little bucket and the Oreo looks good on top of it. Everything looks really, really good. Um, I kind of started here because I do like a whole big section. I put it on my light pad. So I did here, here, and then I went across and across and down and down. And then I filled in the bottom and I ended up with like this section right here was the last section I did. And it wasn't very big. It was just a section in the middle. And that's how I kind of tackled the whole thing. But I, I could not be happier. Is it not the most beautiful thing? Seriously. I, it's either second or third place in my favorites now. I, I don't know. My fairy I did still holds number one. The snow princess, ice princess, she's up there. And then this one. So, I, yeah. But it's gorgeous. Um, I did not run out of anything. I'm happy to report I have all drills here. I can't dump this upside down because it had it had 50 colors and these hold 48. So I left these two just like that in their bags. <laughs> Luckily they weren't, well, they were used quite a bit in the barn and stuff, but I just left them in there like that. But I did not run out of anything. I didn't even come close to running out of anything, right? I have all the colors there still. So I'm happy to report that. Trash, hardly any. I don't know if you guys, does your trash look like this when you're done? I mean, look at my trash. I got little bits of wax in there when I clean out my pens. And some of them, look, I even threw some rhinestones in there from another kit. This isn't even the really, it's just a mess. I don't really keep track of the trash too well anymore. But anyhow, I'm thrilled. It, if it comes back in stock and you get the opportunity to buy this one, I would jump on it and get it because it's stunning. Just stunning. Love these clematis growing up the fence. Just gorgeous. That's my favorite part, I think. The clematis. And then this bluebird. My goodness, that bluebird. Well, both of them. With the ABs and the wings. Just gorgeous. Love it. All right, I guess that's all I have to say about this. And um, I'm glad you watched and I'm glad you did chuck along with 
uh, Mickey Sunshine and I. I will be having something else coming up real soon. Um, we're going to work on Weir. You heard Weir. Yeah, that there's more than more than one. So <laughs> uh, pay attention for that. Right now, I'm just finishing up on some work in progresses. Um, taking a little break from you know projects and teamwork and things like that. But there it is. Love it. Just love it. So my Chuck Pinson gallery is started, open for business. I'm going to add a little clip to the end of this because I got a frame and I'm going to frame it and I'll show you what it looks like in the frame. going to work on that right now. So stay tuned for the frame. Okay, so here we are. It's framed. It's really hard to find a spot where you don't get glare in the camera. Um, I think I found a good spot. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't like this frame as much as I do the one I put Ice Princess in because you can tell it's a little um, narrower. You know, the frame itself is narrower. But that's okay. Um, they can't all be the same, right? I picked this frame up at my Meyer, which is like a department grocery store kind of thing we have up here in the north. And, um, you know, I could get it when I went to pick up a few things at the store. They had it available because they have all kinds of stuff at Meyer, And so it is what it is. So there it is all framed up. All I did was I cut off all the edges because this fit in this frame perfectly, 22 by 28. And I cut up all the edges. I cleaned it off with a baby wipe, uh, made sure all the drills were on it, which they were. I didn't find any that were missing and put it in the frame. And it's beautiful. So you guys, the Chuck Pinson Gallery has its first exhibit. Now I just need to get it hung. <laughs> you know what my plan is. I want to put him down that hallway going down the stairs. We'll see if I can get my husband to help me. He's pretty particular about measuring and putting things just so-so. And I'm like, okay, let's just put it on the wall, okay? Let's just get it on the wall. It's beautiful. So there it is. It's done. I couldn't be happier. It's so pretty. So pretty. So let's leave you with some beautiful bluebirds. Gorgeous. If you can get it sometime, I'd recommend it. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.